What is going on YouTube, EDM Adam here. You probably noticed I didn't upload a video in a timely manner this week. I thought I had COVID for a second time. Turns out it was just a cold. Apologize for the delay. As far as new music goes, I know I mentioned Casbo the previous week. I'm gonna try to do a video on that. As far as music that came out, I guess last week or within the last four days, we have Getter, Petite Biscuit, and Camel Fat. Had an interesting group of new music that came out this week. I'm super excited to see a Rez track on there if it's fitting that she dropped something near Halloween considering that's like her entire vibe. With that being said, let's jump into the new music. All right, we've got Paradise. In the fading light, hearts collide. There's a warm sound of the chords. Like, this is a nice atmosphere, but it's not holding my attention at all. Like, it's a nice sing-along house song, but nothing super memorable. I've right, got the end with Alesso and Charlotte Lawrence. Baseline's nice. Really slow progression so far. I'm trying to stay interested. I mean, I didn't expect much outside of the typical kind of electro pop realm from Alesso, but yeah, I don't know. This feels more like a pop song than anything. All right, Kill Me Better, Don Diablo. Anybody else recognize that kick and snare? Is that not blinding lights? Okay, now it's really starting to sound like it. Yeah, I don't know, it's just too close to blinding lights for me. Like, obviously it's a different vibe, kind of like that melodramatic, like, woe is me, kind of almost hip hop sound to it, on top of like a very basic pop feel. Just don't mind, Fox Stevenson. Oh, it's a good week when I can listen to a new Fox Stevenson song. Probably my favorite artist of 2020. Baseline's juicy. Alright. Okay, the constant 16s are a little much for me. I'd like a little more variation. I really like the pre-drop right before it. It was like that little chip tuny sound. I don't know if the drop matches the vibe of it all. Yeah, very glitchy, kind of all over the place. It's mixed very clean. I'm just, the drops are not my favorite of his. I like this little counter melody bridge going on. Alright. Love the little pitch bends in there. Yeah, I don't know that the drop matches the vibe. I mean... I can't be a total fanboy all the time. It definitely isn't my favorite, but still a very impressive production nonetheless. All right, we have Haunt Me, Cascade, who has definitely delved into a little more down-tempo, chill stuff as of late. I really like that sound. Oh, man. Silky smooth. Oh, I love that. It's like a very, like, plucky, like, like kind of muted. On, like, a stereo. You can hear the, the pan back and forth. Oh, really nice. Yeah, man, Cascade just got that extra edge. Yeah, this is a vibe. I mean, this will just put you in a trance. This is a song of the week. We have 12th Planet with Follow. Nice. A little marshmallowy. Like that really like airy melody in there kind of makes me say that. Very pretty saw waves with kind of that future bass sound though. This is probably gonna go heavier. All right. Okay. Very cool kind of hybrid style track. Not my favorite. Like it, it's like creative in some parts and then like generic and predictable in others. Um, I don't know. I think that's one I'd have to listen to again. All right, we have Liar with Keizo and with OST. 
not OTT. Sounds kind of thin. I don't know, something so far sounds off. Not a fan of this build either. Super muddy. That's why. Okay. Base house from Keizo, okay. Damn, boy! She thick! Yeah, I don't know if that was like intentionally thin in like the intro just to create that like thick full sound for the drop, but I didn't have a lot of faith going into that drop, but damn, there's really only one one word to describe that song and it's thick. All right, Loud Luxury and Frank Walker. And Steven Poot. Any relation to Charlie? Sounds like it might be. Straightforward deep house vibe. This is very vanilla ice cream. Maybe a little bit of drum and bass on this one. Like the marching snare. Okay, not what I expected. Wow. I love the little drop that triplet in there. That's really smooth. Here's the drum and bass. Yeah, this bass line is dark. So far, it's a tad repetitive for my liking. All right, Space Mom. What do we got? Oh, this is already a vibe. Interesting. It's a little light. <laughs> I like this. Interesting sound selection so far. I'm hoping the second drop will be a little different. There's that classic detuned sound. Oh. oh, this like oscillating bass sound is sick. So well done, like you almost feel like you can, like I can see why she named this Orbit. The sound just kind of communicates that like, Something's rotating around something. Is that me trying too hard or does it not sound like that? Well, not the heaviest track, but definitely very interesting. Child of the Devil, Timmy Trumpet. I am a child of the devil. I have to live fast, die young life. Hope that you're gonna play this at my funeral. <laughs> Would you want Heartstyle at your funeral? For Heartstyle fans out there, I don't listen to a ton of it. I can't imagine this would be a favorite. Yeah, I don't know, man. All right, we've got Dream Logic, Virtual Riot. I already like the percussion. Nice. This little vocal sample here kind of reminds me of like 2013 Skrillex. Something you might hear off like Bangarang maybe. Really nice with the hit, the fade, the side chain effect. Wow, I like this part. I was just about to say the first half of this drop is not, not doing it. It's a little better. I love the drums, but it just feels a tad busy. Flume, is that you? Oh yeah, really glitchy kind of. Damn. Yeah, this reminds me of spring. Something to be said about that like out of time kind of randomness of it all. Skill. The first half of the song is definitely not for me, but you can't hate on the talent on Virtual Riot, that's for sure. All right, that is it for this week. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Sorry this one came up a little later. I'm trying to stay healthy, but apparently that's been a difficult thing to do this year. Should be back on schedule for this week. Leave a comment for what you thought song of the week was, any suggestions or anything I missed. Comment, subscribe as well. Really would appreciate it, and I will see you guys soon.